The history of the tie is one of, you know, like many things in, in men's dress, one of those things that's shrouded in a certain amount of mystery. And most people will have a theory about how it starts. But I think what is clear is that, you know, 200 years ago we had men wearing stocks and cravats. And fast forwards, post-industrial revolution, we have men wearing simple woolen ties that every man in the street can afford and that you can actually tie quickly and simply and will stay put all day. And that is the tie we have today. I always tie a four in hand. I like a tie to be slimmer and more elongated. I think I like a nice neck and then I like it to kind of ping out again in the, in the body of the tie. And I think the four in hand gives you that shape. I think the important thing when wearing a tie is to try and get a nice balance between the size and shape of the knot and the size and shape and depth of the collar. You know, Prince Charles at the moment is wearing a tie, you know, you often see him with a really tiny knot. And I think that's where the inspiration for the ties for the spring season for torts has come from. The Duke of Windsor was a great multi-pattern wearer and his theory was always that you should never have two patterns the same scale so if you have a small pattern on the shirt you can wear a bigger pattern on the tie but then the pattern on your hanky ought to be a different scale I mean that's the nice thing about the tie you know I think you can keep your wardrobe very simple keep your suits and your shirts very simple but the tie is one area where you can kind of constantly reinvent your look